What's up folks, my name is Felix, welcome back to a new video. This is another testnet airdrop guide, in this case for a whale. And if you never heard about a whale, you should definitely dig into this because this is the biggest competitor for Celestia, a modular blockchain which is also focusing on the data availability layer. And the co-founder of Polygon, for example, left Polygon to work on a whale. And what's also interesting, a whale has a partnership with Dimension, very likely that a whale drops to Dimension stakers. And you can also, for example, deploy a whale role apps on Dimension. So very interesting combination here. And to round this up, we even currently have an incentivized testnet, which we are going to dig into in today's video. And the first thing we want to do is we want to jump over to the Explorer page because that's where we have to do all those different tasks. But before we get into that, you have to do two steps which require some time. First step is to download a Polkadot extension. We can also do this guide without the extension, but I can recommend you to do it with the extension. But I can recommend you to do it with the extension because we never want to give the keys for our wallets out of our hands. That's why you should definitely download the Polkadot extension. You can do that for your Chrome or for the Firefox browser. And the second thing which requires some time if you don't have one yet is you should get a Gitcoin passport. I talked about that, for example, in a previous airdrop update that those things will be way more important in the future and necessary to receive some airdrops. And in this case, what we want to do here is we want to sign in with our EVM wallet and you want to have at least a score of 20. So I'm checking right now. I already did the Gitcoin passport steps here. So if we click on explore stamps, you can see my score is above 20. And what you want to do here is some proof of humanity tasks. You can connect social accounts. For example, if you have a GitHub account, which is at least three months old, then a Twitter account, you can connect your LinkedIn. And then again, you have to do some proof of humanity tasks, which you can do at Trust the Labs or Holonym. Those cost you a few US dollars. I would calculate with around 20 to 30 US dollars. You can, of course, also do some other steps here. For example, you should use your oldest wallet because maybe you already did some snapshot votings or you have some Gitcoin tokens staked or donated to Gitcoin or you have a Gnosis safe wallet, that's completely up to you. So you should try the easiest way for you to receive at least 20 points here. And then we can start with the Whale Explorer guide. Otherwise, you will not be able to verify the tasks we are doing over here. So the first thing after we jumped over to the Explorer page, we want to create an account with our just created Polkadot extension. That's why you want to click on accounts here and create a new account. Therefore, you want to open your Polkadot extension and export your keys to your computer. Therefore, you just click on export account, type in the password and save the JSON file on your computer. Once you did that, we can import this account to the Avail Explorer. Therefore, you just click on from JSON. Then you just click on backup file. You open the file you just saved. Then you type in the password here. And finally, you click on restore and your account should be visible here on the dashboard. As you can see, my account here in this case is called memory and I already have some funds on it. If you don't have funds on it, you want to jump over to their Discord, to the faucet, search for the Goldberg faucet channel. And what you want to type in here is deposit. And then you want to click on deposit address. You want to again open your Polkadot extension. You want to copy this address and paste it in here. And then you just want to click enter. In my case, I already ordered some tokens. You can do that every 180 minutes. So basically every three hours and you have to do that at least four times to receive over 10 whale token because we need at least 10 token to stake them into the validators in the last step. But more about that in a few moments. In the meantime, while you are waiting for your tokens, you want to come over to the passport verifier. That's the reason why we need the Gitcoin passport. There you just want to connect your EVM wallet. For example, in my case, I just choose the Revy wallet. I create and sign in here. Then you first want to connect your Discord account. So you just authorize the pop up here. Then you will be led over to this page again. Then you can already submit your Gitcoin passport. In my case, this should now work because my score is over 20. Then this transaction pops up. You want to sign this again. And then you can already see I can get my role down here. So you want to click on give role. And then the end says, congratulations. I did everything right. And we can continue with the next step. So we get back to the Explorer page. 
And as you can see, in the meantime, we just received two Avail testnet token from the faucet, which is great. What we then want to do very quick, we want to navigate to settings and click on metadata. And if there is an update button here, you want to click on update this metadata. If there is no button, you are good to go and we can proceed with the next step, which is creating an app ID. That's why we jump over to this app ID page. We want to click on detect extensions, then it should find your Polkadot extension. Then you choose an account. In our case, we just choose this account here. And then you want to give this app ID a name. In my case, I just uh, call it triple D. Then you want to send a transaction here. You want to confirm this transaction once it pops up. So you just click on yes, do this metadata update. And once this is confirmed, which will be displayed also here, you can search for your just created app ID. In my case, it shouldn't show up yet, but if it's already registered, you can just click on search app ID and you should find it. I will show it to you in a few seconds once mine is confirmed. So as you can see now, it says transaction success. Your info is key, triple D owner. And now we should be able to see our app ID. That's why I can click again on search app ID. For example, if I just refresh the page, this should work now. So I just search for triple D, search app ID. And now here in this case, it shows app found app ID 1591 and it shows my Polkadot wallet address. So this step is also completed. Then the last two things we want to do, you want to come back over to the Explorer page and we first want to send a transaction from one wallet to another wallet. So you just create another Polkadot wallet over here, save the seed phrase, and then you just send a small amount of a weight token from one wallet to another wallet. Just choose the amount, for example, 001 and click on make a transfer that we have another footprint on the blockchain. And the last thing we want to do is we want to stake some tokens. Again, this only works if you have at least 10 away tokens available. Therefore, you have again to claim several times from the Goldberg faucet in their Discord. And once you have those 10 tokens available, you just click on network, click on staking, navigate to the pool section. And once those pools pop up, which should then look like this, then you just search for a pool, which is not full yet. For example, the one here, zero commission, that doesn't matter here in this case because it's just a test net. You just click on join and then you need at least 10 tokens to put them into the pool. You just click on join. You just type in your password, send the transaction, and then you should already be staked in this pool. There, you see it. the transaction is currently signing. And once this is done, we have completed this full guide. I have one last steps for all that are into nodes. You can, of course, also run a node for the testnet here. I will also provide you this guide down in the description. And that should do it on today's overview. If you have questions, feel free to drop them below this video. There's also a free Telegram group which you can join and ask your questions over there. If you like this overview, feel free to hit the like button. And if you don't want to miss future guides like this, feel also free to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in my next one.